Hey guys, today we are at Shinbashi Station. Right now we are heading to Odaiba. At this station, always displays soba and udon restaurant. Smells so good. The easiest way to go to Odaiba, just come to Shinbashi Station and take Yuri Kamome line. Yes, that's the one. After Japan opened and the situation gets better, there are so many people coming back to the town and the train is so packed. Weather gets super chilly, so I need to wear a heavy jacket right now. So today, there are two things that I want to do. One, I want to go to watch the fireworks at Odaiba. There is a special winter fireworks and it's really beautiful that I heard. And two, at McDonald's, there is a special winter burger, which is really popular. Gurakoro is available from this week, so I want to eat that too. So that's the way to go to the monorail. So speaking of the fireworks, it will start from today until the Christmas, every Saturday. So if you are visiting Japan from now until the Christmas, make sure to visit Odaiba on Saturday so that you can enjoy the night light and also the fireworks. Anyway, this is the Yuri Kamome that we have to take, so let's ride on. It's better to take a front seat because you can see the view, but probably you will be so packed. It's the first weekend of the Odaiba fireworks. So, so many people. Oh, finally we arrived to Odaiba station. Most of the people take off the train over here, so it was so packed inside the train but uh, almost empty right now. So from Shinbashi station to Odaiba station, it costs 325 Japanese yen. It's almost 4 p.m. right now. The Odaiba fireworks will start from 7. Yeah, it will be that way. Before it gets dark, let's go to check Gundam so that you can compare the Gundam in the daytime and nighttime. The Daiba station is the closest station to the Odaiba Gundam. After you get out from the station, just turn right and keep straight. Oh my goodness, look at the sunset. Uh, it's really beautiful. So. We will see the bridge and it just keeps straight. Well, I love Odaiba. It's a bit far and also it's kind of expensive to come over here because of that train, Yuri Kamome. But, uh, you know, this peaceful atmosphere and then most of the time people are having a really happy atmosphere too. So I just loving it. Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan TV. I'm Ryan Seno. Yeah. Please don't forget to check my Instagram and Twitter account. Alright, so let's keep walking. And you will find the Gundam on your left. In front of Odaiba Diversity. Oh, I guess that object over there, it will be right it up. We will come back after it gets dark. So, let's see. And here we go. The last time when I was here, it was under construction. So not so many people, but now so many people. I guess most of them are travelers. I can hear so many languages over here. Loving it. <laughs> it's totally different compared to before Japan opened. Anyway, let's go to check the Odaiba diversity. We still have three hours before the higher works, so let's explore the Odaiba. First floor of diversity. There is a big food court. You can eat takoyaki, udon, katsudon, and also ramen, tendon. So many kinds over here. Speaking of Odaiba diversity, this shopping mall, pretty much normal shopping mall. The something special over here is that we have Daiso in the shopping mall, which is 100 Japanese yen store. Usually we don't have it in the shopping mall, so yeah. If you need something, just come over to the Diversity Daiso, Japan, if you're in Odaiba. 
There is many restaurants, many different kinds. Oh, it's a conveyor restaurant. Price is starting from 140 Japanese yen. The most expensive one is maybe this one. Yeah, the hotate, otoro, uni, ikura. Those are the 700 Japanese yen, 715 Japanese yen. Not sure about the quality though, but uh, yeah. That's pretty much regular price, except the 100 Japanese yen conveyor restaurants. Well, I was thinking to eat McDonald's over here, but seems like it's really packed. That's okay. Let's go to the another one. Well, I could expect that. Other one must be less people, so let's go. In front of McDonald's, Baskin Robbins. We call Baskin Robbins at 31, 31. So if you are looking for the Baskin Robbins in Japan, just ask 31. And also there is a game center, game center. Oh really? They have 10 Japanese in claw machine right now? Why not? Let's try that. Oh, this is the one. 10 Japanese in claw machine. Let me try that. Can we have that? Let's see. So just place money. And here. Wait. I think... <laughs> oh my goodness. I am sucked, but uh, I think we have dropped the one duck already, somehow. Uh, I guess, I was pretty lucky. And that's the other one. Many cheap sweets there. It is so packed though. Also, berries and the chocolate. <laughs> well, I wasn't really good at it, but I guess I was lucky. How do you guys think? Does this horse 10 Japanese yen? It's pretty cute though. <laughs> In the seventh floor, now they have the Gundam Base Tokyo. But I can't film it unfortunately, so let's go to the McDonald's. By the way, you need a ticket to enter, so make sure to get the ticket if you want to enter the store. So we came to the first floor. Oh, Unko Museum is still here. <laughs> well, kids love toilet jokes, so... <laughs> Maybe many kids visit there. The other McDonald's is near Aqua City area, so that way. And that's the wine. Hopefully, it's not crowded. Let's order. Yep, seems like better. Still, we have a seat. Alright, sweet. I found the perfect seat at the corner. This is the reason why I moved here. I think it's much better and much easier to eat and much easier to film too. So, have a So, this is what I have ordered. The, I used the coupon, so price is 670 Japanese yen. There is a the Fuatoro Tamago no Ko Demi Gurakoro. So I think basically it's a gratin inside the burger and also egg and the fries. Also, this time I ordered a cafe ole the hot one because I thought I might be filming outside if I can't find a good seat. But uh, this time I'm lucky that I could find a seat inside. Well, I'm not sure if this coffee will fit with burger or not, but. It's okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm so happy that they filled the fries here until here. Well, is it only Japan? Sometimes you order the French fries, even doesn't reach to here. It was like so less. So even I ordered a larger one, I feel like it's like a medium one. Well, is it only in the Japan thing? Or does it happen in your country too? If so, please let me know in the comment. So this time, it was filled over here, so it feels like I'm lucky. Oh, I totally forgot. Itadakimasu. <laughs> and also, kanpai with latte. Oh, sweet. This is Grakoro. You know, compared to the regular burger, usually McDonald's burger is like a squashed and then really flat. But this one actually has heights. Love it. Okay, so. 
Oh, so that's really good. Uh, really nice. The Demigura sauce. I'm not sure if it's English or not. There must be a translation over here if it's not. Anyway, so, <laughs> itadakimasu. Mmm, mecha oishi. Mmm, this demigrad sauce perfectly matches with scrotum. Outside is really crispy, and then also the egg on top. Well, thinking about the fast food burger, I think this is one of the best. Oh, of course, uh, in the fast food burger though. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good. Loving it. This one is only the limited version, and uh, they always have it during the winter season. So if you visit Japan during the winter, don't forget to try this Urakawa at least once. Well, even you don't like McDonald's, maybe, maybe you will like it. <laughs> Not sure though. You know what? Actually, it was my first time to eat the burger with coffee. Actually, it's not that bad. Feels like eating breakfast with coffee. I thought it didn't feel there, but uh, just think about drinking coffee with bread. <laughs> it's good. Well, how about the fries? Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. You know, haven't eaten McDonald's for a while. I know it's pretty junky, but uh, yeah. I kind of miss this taste. <laughs> Do you guys understand? Well, definitely having healthy food, better. So, if you don't eat McDonald's, don't eat. But, uh, you know, sometimes McDonald's pretty good. Sometimes. Oof, that was a good dinner. Well, we still have 1 hour and 30 until the fireworks. So, let's go to check the Christmas lights of Odaiba. And also the Gundam in the night time. The fireworks is the Rainbow Bridge side. So this side, firstly, let's go to check this side, which has the Gundam and the Ferris wheel. So let's keep walking. So now we are at Tokyo Teleport Station side. If you don't use the monorail and then you use the Rinkai Line, this will be one of the closest station to the Odaiba. So for your information. You know, Odaiba was pretty busy, right? But after the Venus Fort closed, this area became like a ghost town. Yeah, no one visit this area, even on the weekend. <laughs> well, it's kind of scary to walk here. <laughs> well, still, you know, before six, uh, it's okay. Let's keep walking. So that's the Venus Ford already closed. Oh wait! Oh really? Ah, oh, I didn't know that. Uh, the Ferris wheel is already gone. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> well, I thought some animals was over here. It was kind of scary because, you know, nothing over there. So animal might be here. <laughs> Arikui, I believe. Anyway, so yeah, the Ferris wheel already gone. Well, I know that it will be gone, but I didn't know that actually it's already gone. Huh. Wow, Odaiba is changing. Anyway, let's go back to the Gundam side. Oh, the swing, even on the Saturday night, no one here because the Venus photo is closed. Well, so if you wanna relax outside of the crowds, you can come visit here. You can relax with swing. Oh, what's going on over here? I think something wrong with water. It's okay. Oh, the Gundam is already lighted up. Sweet. Let's keep walking. Oh my goodness, the moon, it's so beautiful. So here, while we're walking, let me share a popular story in Japan. And all the time, there is a really popular Japanese writer called Soseki Natsume. 
He's on the 1000 Japanese yen bill right now. He was a translator for the book as well. And when he translated the I love you, he translated to the Tsuki ga kirei desu ne, meaning the moon is beautiful. <laughs> well, 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 I know. That maybe totally doesn't make sense. Uh, for me, even I was born and raised in Japan, but still, it doesn't really make sense. But uh, yeah, according to the book, uh, in that time, for Japanese culture, saying I love you from man to the lady wasn't that popular. So the easiest way to translate is the telling the lady that the moon is so beautiful. So yeah, that's the story of Soseki Natsume. <laughs> You know, always language comes with the culture, so for Japanese, we don't use I love you much, so you know, we are more like a context culture, so maybe makes sense. <laughs> I'm more like a straightforward person though. Anyway, so the Gundam is almost there. And here we go. Finally we arrived. So cool. Oh, uh, now it's red color. It is actually huge. It's as big as the shopping mall. Did you guys realize that uh, actually he has transformed from unicorn version to destroy mode? Now they have two horns, right? When we see him on the daytime, it was only one horn. Yeah, look at his leg. <laughs> Me standing here? Maybe you can feel the size better. <laughs> it is huge. And also another Christmas light spot. It's a rainbow shining stairs. It changes to the rainbow color. Sweet. It's a nice picture spot too. All right, so now let's go to the another Christmas light spot. Oh, must be that's the one. The another Christmas light spot. The tree of light. Hikari no ki. Oh my goodness. They're reflecting the lights really beautifully. Nice Christmas object. Sweet, really artistic. The Rainbow Bridge side, beautiful too. So let's keep walking. Oh my goodness, look at the Rainbow Bridge. Changes to the rainbow color. Finally, look like a Rainbow Bridge. Well, according to the website, that the Fuji TV building is also Christmas right spot, but it's just red. <laughs> it's okay. It is okay. So let's explore the Rainbow Bridge side. Wow. The Rainbow Bridge Christmas version. Usually it's not rainbow. Perfect with the Tokyo Tower. Loving it. So here, another Christmas light spot. Odaiba Illumination. And here, love sign. Oh my goodness, it's a huge dog, so cute! Wow! Wow, they must eat a lot! Eh? Much more than I do, probably. I love dog, but uh, this size kind of scary. <laughs> Seems like he doesn't want to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, I love dogs, but that side's scary. Yeah, it looks like more like a oof. So that's the photo spot of love and also the rainbow bridge and the Statue of Liberty. So now we came back to this Odaiba decks again. Now we are heading to the Odaiba Christmas tree beside the sea. Travel tip. 
If you love takoyaki and visit Odaiba, there is a takoyaki museum. There are not so many places you can find many different kinds of takoyaki in Tokyo. So you can visit this Odaiba Dex takoyaki museum. But the best way is just visiting Osaka though. Yep, that's my hometown. <laughs> and uh, I love takoyaki. <laughs> Never mind. Let's keep on. So many people in front of Tokyo Joy Police. It's Saturday, so must be. Oh, at Tokyo Joy Police. Now they have a new promotion. After 6 p.m., just 2,000 Japanese yen, and you can enter and you can ride it to ride. Oh, nice. <laughs> We will see the fireworks at the Rainbow Bridge side. So, this place will be more and more people. And here, this is the best picture spot. There is the Odaiba sign, Christmas tree, and also you can see the Rainbow Bridge. There are stairs, so if you want to see the light up more beautifully, you can just go up the stairs. Definitely from the higher place, has better view. <laughs> So the fireworks will be that side. Oh, that's Tokyo Tower. Well, we still have 42 minutes, but I believe this is the best place to shoot. So uh, probably this place will be so many people. Why not? Let's wait. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's wait. Oh my goodness, I just realized there are so many yakatabune out there. So each that small boat, it's a restaurant, you can drink and eat. Maybe I could reserve those boats. Well, but usually they take a reservation for the group of the people, so I'm not sure if they take a reservation from individuals. Anyway, let's wait. All right, finally, one minute to go. <laughs> Excited. As you can see, so many people already over here waiting for the fireworks. So I believe that's the way. Wow. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. Sweet, amazing. Well, it was only five minutes. Beautiful, loving it. <laughs> After finish watching, so many people going home. It will be crowded. So I came back to the Rainbow Bridge and the Statue of Liberty side. Hopefully you guys enjoy the fireworks. And also hopefully this video can give you a small inspiration for the next Japan travel. Or you could virtual travel to Japan through this video with me. Anyway, more adventures are coming, so if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe so that you can find my channel much easier and also, it will really encourage me to keep shooting videos. Big thank you to all of the Patreons! If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account as well. Alright, so hope you enjoyed the video, so see you in the next video. See you Go! <laughs> Have a great day and night. Bye-bye! Oh, really beautiful. Speaking of the fireworks, it was much better than what I thought. 
you know, it's just five minutes fireworks show. So I thought it could be really, you know, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was much better than what I thought. So I'm super happy that I could film it. You know, it will continue until the Christmas. The last day is, I believe, 24th of December, Saturday. So if you are visiting during this season, don't forget to check. The Odaiba fireworks. And um, if you have a friend uh, who are visiting Japan around this season, please don't forget to share this video too. Maybe they will enjoy it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy that. So see you in the next video. <laughs> have a great day and night. Bye bye.